My name is Patrick Schroll. Mohamed Ors. Garrett Sickles. Evelyn Lumish. Jose Ramirez. Morgan Schroll. I graduated from Red Bank Middle School in 2009, and I am currently now at the University of Delaware, where I'm a leadership major with a concentration in either sports management or marketing, but I'm also a Division I athlete on their softball team. Uh, I now go to the United States Military Academy at West Point. I'm a junior there, and I study defensive strategic studies. And I'm currently a senior at Red Bank Regional High School. Applied to uh, five schools. I hold a state title for uh, engineering competition um, through Technology Student Association um, that competes with over 5,000 students on state level. I was born and raised in Red Bank, New Jersey. Um, I went through Red Bank Primary School, Red Bank Middle School, and Red Bank Regional High School. Um, currently, I'm on a full scholarship to Penn State University. Um, I play uh, football there, it's Division One. I. I play a defensive end. I went to Red Bank Middle School and then went after that to High Tech High School and now I am a dual degree in uh, International Relations and Economics at American University with a minor in Japanese, as well as working for the Global Terrorism Database at the National Consortium for the Study of Terrorism and Responses to Terrorism. So uh, High Tech, uh, High Technology High School is one of the top STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math high schools in the country. Uh, and uh, it's a test in process, so they take one person per town. And uh, the way that I got in really started because the school let me work, go ahead in math. And starting when I was in fourth grade, they pushed me ahead a couple of levels based on my own level. And so I got to take high school math. And it really gave me a step up in the application process. I graduated from the Academy of Allied Health and Science in 2013. And right now, I'm a junior at Harvard. I'll be getting a degree in molecular and cellular biology. I'll have a secondary field or a minor um, in Islamic studies and I'll have a citation in Arabic. Um, I think each teacher, each person brings a different perspective. All my teachers in eighth grade, I remember them telling me that high school wasn't going to be an easy transition and that uh, it's one of the most important years of my life. Uh, a lot of the teachers here, you know, a lot of them, you know, realized my goals and uh, helped me out a lot with it. The sort of connections and experiences that you gain from really listening to and connecting with the people who are teaching those subjects are a lot, a lot more valuable, without a doubt. Every one of my teachers had a big impact on my life when I was in middle school. Um, I have to say I have very good relationships with all of them to this day. Um, uh, I have to say that one of the biggest teachers that had the biggest influence on me is uh, Mr. Hurd. Um, I remember when I came in in fourth grade, I watched an upperclassman, uh, Dylan Revere, play the drums and I wanted to play drums and sure enough talked to Mr. Hurd and he got me into playing and to this day I still play drums. and. I remember sitting in a classroom and I still have the project project where I said I'm going to play college softball. I had coaches and teachers here that still asked me in high school how I was doing. I started the rec recruiting process in eighth grade so like they went through it with me and after five years I made my goal happen and without being motivated from a young age to be told I can do it, uh, I might have given up but I didn't. Uh, Red Bank no Red Bank students are smart. I think a fundamental truth is that it's all about drive. It's all about a sort of personal desire for success. Just the life lessons that middle school has taught me too. I still have the same uh, friends since first grade that are just as close if not closer to this day. Um, it's a very tight-knit community and we all still talk to each other. I thought it was a great place to go to school. The diversity and like the friends I made here, I still talk to you today. We hang out at breaks, they've come to visit. I think the work ethic of the kids from this district uh, is epitomized by the traditional uh, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Well, so I think one thing that the diversity here really taught me was empathy because both my high school and my university are, tend to be a lot less diverse than here and so I really learned how to interact with and understand people who are very different from me and I think that that's a really important skill to learn going into the world. Honestly, I was privileged to um, have received such a good education here at the middle school.
Hopefully in 10 years, I'll either be working in the lab research or in another engineering company, uh, designing or innovating or inventing something that will at least have a positive impact on the greater good. The people that are going to make the real difference in the world will be the scientists and the engineers. Every teacher I've ever had always knew football was something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to play football for as long as I could, but they always said the same thing. They always said, use education as your tool to achieve that. Um, right now I'm on pace to graduate semester early, so I have my degree and I still have another year of football, so I can either get another degree and maximize my time at Penn State or I can work for my master's. And I'm using football as a vehicle to do that. It's always been a dream of mine to play in the National Football League and I'm in a position to do that in the next few years. And um, now I'll graduate from college, I'll have my degree, and then it's on to the NFL. I want to focus on counterterrorism, so working to help probably government agencies have emergency plans and to be able to run through them so everyone knows what they do in the case of an attack or in the case of some natural disaster. I love being from New Jersey, I love being from Red Bank, and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. It's great here. Depending on how my career in the Army plays out and uh, what comes afterwards, I, I'd always like to end up here in Red Bank. Uh, that would be my end goal. Without a doubt, I would send my kids to this school. Uh, I wouldn't trade my experiences here for anything, and I would hope that they ha would have the same experience as I did. Um, next few years, I don't know where I'm going to be, but if I'm in Red Bank and I do have a family here, my kids are definitely going to Red Bank Middle School and Red Bank Borough School. I am proud and honored to serve the community of Red Bank and the Red Bank Borough Public Schools. My biggest challenge as superintendent and also my biggest disappointment is the false perception of our schools held by a small group of people. Not everyone has a true picture of who we really are. We have remarkably talented children, highly credentialed and passionate educators, and a resilience as a school community that resonates through our classrooms and our hallways. Frankly, it puzzles me that some people cling to an old story and fail to look at who and what the Red Bank Borough Public Schools really are. A school system should be the pride of any great community it is time we recognize, promote, and embrace the truth. Red Bank is a beautiful town filled with diverse cultures, gourmet dining, top-rate shopping, a rich tradition in the arts, and great schools.